止を開始します。Hello and welcome to another match for United Rogue Overwatch. This time we have the Montreal Stags and the Chicago Syndicate both looking for their first win of the season. We'll be rolling out on Ilios Lighthouse to begin. Shortly, we're going to see the comps that these teams have、uh, prepped for us here. Looks like it's going to be a May Arisa soldier comp from the Syndicate, looking to just take some heavy brawls here. Lots of damage output. More of a kind of kite dive look from the stags over here. Running the Zarya. Interesting. I I'm keen to see. Yeah, swap to the D.Va real quick. And I wonder if they're going to keep the Symmetra. Yes, they are keeping the Symmetra here. All right, both teams rolling out. Looks like the Syndicate might reach the point first. It looks like they're just gonna go for a straight up brawl. Possibly looking for a May Wall here onto the D.Va of the Stags. And Ice Block forced out already.、Uh, Immo Field as well. Syndicate are down a lot of cooldowns. Prince of the K moves up, gets real aggressive. And it looks like the Syndicate are gonna be able to take this first cap here. Yeah, able to secure the point here. Super Falls kind of low. Parasite as well. They're able to get the way out. Jarhead on the flank with his Metro Beam, but he falls extremely low, and Jarhead gets taken out by Curse of the K. A nice fortify to prevent the boop there. And Super is stuck with the point where the rest of his team is left. Ghost looking to find a way into the point here, but he eventually just bails out, leaving Super the only one at the point right now. I wonder if he's going to be able to escape or if he's just going to stay there. Looks like Parasite's going in, trying to look for a pick on the stage burner here. He's forced to recall. Crystal K playing very aggressive here, taking a lot of space.、He、looks to just keep this、uh, Stag's team very deep in the choke. No way to touch the point. Parasite's able to sneak around back and they're able to regroup to the point. But this is an opening for the Stag, so they're looking to move in here. Shiro with a nice pick on the Parasite. He's him. Oh! And a boop onto the other Lucio. Kamani comes up huge. Goes to Z Max here. A nice May Wall splits off Boogie Bear. And this is a clean fight in the way of the Syndicate. No deaths for them at all. Late kill onto Jarhead and Booger Bear here. Just really gonna set the stags back a lot. We're looking at 80% maybe for the Syndicate if they don't come back and、uh, win this next fight. Lots of ultimates coming out. Almost every single ultimate is available on the board. I want to see the sim see wall、here? and swap. I want to see the sim swap. I think the sim pick was good if they took point first, but I think it's just a wasted pick at this point. Oh, Diva Bomb comes up with Shiro. But Chris with the K is able to trade out tanks. They're down, Doge Meister. 3v3 on the point here, but the Syndicate have kept their tank. Sim wall comes out. And a nice boop onto Jarhead. Chris McKay really putting in work here. Takes out Boogie Bear as well. Only. Only, uh. Parasite and Soup remaining on the point. But the ball of Ghost comes back. Soup barely saved by that very good sound barrier. Sound barrier in response from the Syndicate, and Blizzard comes out onto point. This is a nice zoning all. It's gonna force them completely off. Only Parasite is left alive with the assistance of. Uh, Ghost who falls. Jarhead making it back on the Junkrat, but he steps off the point and they take the first objective. Very convincing for the side of the Syndicate. Yeah, I think the stags were kind of scattered there.、Uh, their comp. I, I don't really know where the sim played into that. I feel like if they maybe. Did the TP to point to get set up there, it might have worked, but even so, afterwards, even though the rest of the comp was really mobile, they never really initiated a dive on a target, and most of the targets on the side of Chicago were kind of beefier and not not super diveable or out of position. They were kind of just playing point, so I think they needed swaps earlier. Yeah, looking at this now, I think Syndicate are just rolling out on a better comp again. With the r a m a t r a May and the Baptiste, they're just going to have so much frontline presence that's going to be hard to get 
like rid of really um when you look at the side of the the stacks they have a will that you know you might be able to get a pick or two but the syndicate just have such a beefy uh lineup here it's gonna be hard to chew through all that hp and healing a few blows exchanged by this mega health pack over here a wall goes out but it's not going to do much other than split uh split the syndicate and dogemeister gets a little bit too aggressive and is punished for it however the point is going over to the side of the syndicate with kamani on the point jarhead looking for a pick here to work his way in along with the pressure from parasite but he falls extremely low and is taken out by shiro zarya of ghost working his way in with the rest from jarhead this could be a a, a fight and conversion high energy beam here but it looks like they're just content with pushing them back to the choke here. They no longer have to worry about the presence of a May wall with Doge Meister off onto that Sojourn now, but they do have to worry about the extra damage and range that puts out. Boogie Bear falls, and it looks like they're just gonna be caught out. Ghost falling a little dangerously low here, caught out from his supports. Jarhead providing a little bit of peel there, allows the Zarya to escape. Parasite onto the Sombra here, trying to look for a way to sneak in without getting uh, spotted. But Chris the Cage is playing so well, uh, like postured here, making it very difficult. Parasite does manage to sneak in the back. Coming up on a lot of ults here. I want to see Jarhead take more aggressive angles here. I think I think he could pressure out their DPS, but he's kind of just sort of main with his Arya, and he's sitting in in like plain view with a hit scan. They have forced the Syndicate back here. I wonder if they're going to commit a barrage or a grab to, to close this fight out. Hero gets a pick onto Jarhead. It looks like they might go for the res, but it gets punished by Chris the K. Quick thinking. Parasite in the back falls as well, and it's swift, swift turnaround. The Syndicate have just shattered the stags. And Booger Bear falls. This is, it's a just just tragic here. They're they're getting chased around. Ghost gets backed into a mega, and Jarhead is stuck on the roof here, unable to do much. Parasite is going to be able to touch, but what can he really do? Barrage gets Chris with a K, and uh, Sage Runner trades him out. Uh, but Shiro with the tactical visor is able to take out Soup and hold off the rest of the stags keeping the point safely in the hands of the syndicate here to convert map one yeah that was that was a clean sweep uh i think i think going into the second map uh jarhead got that opening pick but they never really converted on it i think if they were going to run that zarya comp there they have to sort of force rom shift and then after that the zarya could tempo with her bubbles if she uses them right but it was just a lot of a lot of poke with no point presence from the side of the stags. Coming on to Route 66, what do you want to see from the stags to help them uh, take this map? What do they need to do? Uh, I think they need to be a little more aggressive. Uh, their tank seems a little hesitant at times. There was definitely times when he was high charge, but he just... Uh, <clears throat> he, he was a little too hesitant, it seemed, to, to really engage. I think he needs to watch... Uh, you know their tanks abilities and cooldowns to know when he could like go in but he didn't he didn't really capitalize on any any of his bubbles or anything like that so that's what i want to see aggression from the tank yeah you can definitely tell chris with a k is getting up there and getting dirty in the front line just putting out tons of work for this uh syndicate team looks like we'll be heading to king's row instead of route 66 um with the stags up on attack first do you think they will roll out on a Widow that we saw from Parasite last map, or do you think they're going to move towards more of a Brawl-style comp? Um, if I were them, I would opt for more of a Brawl-style comp. I think King's Row, it's a, it's, it's a classic. Uh, I mean, you can't. There, there is room for a lot of different comps, especially between Streets Phase and, and uh, you know, First Point. But uh, I kind of want to see them just commit to the brawl. Uh, they kind of went for a dive on that first round of Ilios, and then sort of a poke on the second round, and it, it just didn't seem to didn't seem to click. Yeah, I think it will be tough to get through this first choke if the Syndicate roll out with something like a Ramatra May. But I do think brawl is probably the best bet for the stags here just to give them a lot more uh safety nets with like a baptiste and a may per se 
I will say though, I did like the Farah pick. I just think that they need to coordinate a little bit more. When their Zarya wants to be aggressive, I think then that's a perfect opportunity for the far to be on an off angle or, or taking more aggressive angles uh, on the back line. And that that coordination just never happened on Ilios. But I wouldn't be opposed to seeing the farmer see again. Yeah, we'll see in just a second what they're looking at rolling out. Looks like a pretty pretty standard uh, comp here for the Syndicate. However, they are running the Cassidy instead of the May here. And Ana over a potential Lucio. So maybe looking to play a little bit more uh, high ground and perhaps expecting a Farah that they, they saw on the Ilios. Meanwhile, on the other end, we have the Stags looking at maybe a Widow Soldier. I kind of like the Soldier here, just provides so much damage into the Syndicate front line that you'll be able to get something out of it. I'm wondering if uh, Parasite will go for this peak and then swap, or if he'll stay. We're about to see. Yep. Unable to find anything on the initial shot. Looks like just some frontline damage exchanged by the Rhines here. Ghost Falls down to half with the Symmetra turrets. Um, but it, it's, it's really close. Ghost is taking a lot of damage out here. Uh, Dogemeister just winning these 1v1s here. I, I just noticed Cruise with a K is now on the, the DPS roll rather than tank. So a little bit of a roll swap actually for the Syndicate. And Dogemeister picks up Ghost winning the Rhine battle. Just gonna buy a lot of time for the Syndicate here. I mean, you have to look at all charge. Dogemeister coming up on a shatter, while Ghost is only about halfway up. See, I, I like the swap to the main. I think they could push through with that wall if they coordinated a little bit better. But right now, the the sim turrets and the frontline pressure from Dogemeister is just keeping them held in this choke here. Yarhead is on this flank angle, looking to get some picks, but Chris K is keeping him nice and uh secured in that hotel room. I'd like to see them take some aggressive space here. The stags are kind of just being a little bit too patient, letting the syndicate farm up ult charge with their long range comp. And here they come, around the corner. Shatter invested, and it looks like Ghost and Boogie Bear are both gonna fall. Mayblock invested, but this is just gonna stall Parasite. There's nothing he can do. Jarhead is less left alive, but they know where he is. And the Ryan charge is gonna take Jarhead out. Nice play by the Syndicate. Really very swift shatter there, cleaning it up. Nice and easy fight, nothing nothing too much uh, invested. We're now looking at four alts on both ends. I just say the Sim really has them hesitant to push through this choke. And now the back committed wall or window. Yeah, that window doesn't find too much value. Really, just holds the the stacks back in this corner. I'd love to see Montreal just pop a blizzard or or something to try to get through this Weinhardt Dogemeister. Here comes the Nano, but the shatter is blocked. The Nano comes out onto Shade Burner. Perhaps a miss there. Jarhead picks up Shiro when he gets split from the rest of his team. Chris with the K takes out the Ana of Stags, and Dogemeister gets a pin onto Soup. So now it's in the advantage of the Syndicate, and they're able to pick up Ghost with that lack of healing from the Ana. Jarhead in the back falls, and Parasite is a laugh to live. Make, uh, simply left to make a bleeding escape back to spawn. But even in that, he failed. <laughs> Both sides committing ults there, but I think I think Chicago comes out on top. They have Shatter on sh Shatter online coming, working their way back to another BAP window, and we just have Visor on the side of the stags, and I don't know if that'll be enough to take to, to shift the tide. We did see a couple swaps come out from the side of the stags. Ghost falls pretty low in this choke, but he's able to force his way through. Uh, this Visor from Jarhead needs to be huge. With only 30 seconds left on the clock, they have to push in. They can't just keep stalling here. Immortality field used by Sage Burner, though. But they're rewarded with a kill onto Ghost. Parasite is caught out in this hotel area, but he's able to escape. 
Jarhead needs to go in now. The visor needs to be now. Here he comes. Able to get some damage in, but then Biotic Grenade keeps the uh, Syndicate alive behind Dogemeister's shield. And Booger Bear gets caught out in the hotel. Looks like Dogemeister's just gonna walk around back, take out uh, the Sim Turrets. Parasite gets caught around the side of that shield and he's taken out. Sue falls as well. Window committed from a Sage Burner. And Ghost falls as well. Jarhead is the last alive and he too will crumble between, uh, beneath the might of Dogemeister's hammer. 9 4 0 there for the Reinhardt of the Syndicate. Oh, just looks a lot more coordinated here. Um, we sat we sat in that choke so long on attack that we gave we gave the ult economy to Chicago, and from there they just ran with it. I mean, even even once the stags finally decided to commit some ults, it seemed a little disorganized. They had their Rhine pin in. Uh, the Blizzard kind of didn't really get any value, and there was just too many big ticket ults used without any coordination. Oh my god, what are the stags cooking? This could totally work, but it could also be done in like 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see. Yeah, I think Dogemeister just won that tank trade and really put the Syndicate on his back for that one. Uh, the amount of space he created just really really made it so difficult for Montreal to get anywhere really I think they were just hiding in that choke out of fear more than anything all right Shiro is on the widow here getting damage amped by Kamani looking for a early pick looks like they're just gonna be able to slowly make their walk up to the choke with Shiro looking for some damage Tend to just push their way slowly forwards here. Chris with the K gets an elimination on Jarhead. And Burger Bear gets killed by Rest. Ghost is low. Charge in, but a nice leap on the Joe's Meister prevents the charge. Parasite is in the back line, farming up a lot of this damage on his beam, and he gets rewarded with a kill onto Sage Burner. But Doge Meister in the back line of the stags takes out the soup. Chris with the K able to lay out the nice damage with the uh, Cassidy here, taking down Parasite. And Ghost is the last one to fall. Jarhead needs to come in with a huge contest. The pin pushes him back, but isn't enough. Boogie Bear, Booger Bear falls as well, and that'll be the point cap. Just like that. Syndicate move up 2-0. to zero. Dogemeister is just really cleaning house on the front line. I honestly, I I don't know what they can do to to combat that. I don't know if they have to go more front line oriented DPS to help to help with the tank the tank front line, or if they should just opt to go a more mobile comp and focus diving the back line. I'm I'm not sure. Moving on to circuit, I think. We could see something like a widow. We both we saw both teams utilizing that widowmaker there on King's Row for a time. So I, I could see something like a, a poke comp coming out, but I could also see the syndicate just sticking to the brawl hall. I mean it's been working for them pretty well so far this map or this series. Uh why not this map again, right? Yeah, if if I'm the syndicate, I don't I don't think I really change much here. Uh until until they force a reaction out of the stags that that nets a loss, then I, I don't think I change anything if I'm the syndicate here. Maybe like you said, looking for some long range DPS, some snipers for circuit, but other than that, I wouldn't change anything. Looks like both uh teams here uh considering swaps on their teams. We'll see where that goes. I'd almost like to see the Stags not try to match the Syndicate on Brawl. After watching the King's Row match, I just think the Syndicate have the upper hand in that 
uh, just mirror matchup. So I think they need to just outpick the Syndicate, really. I don't think there's going to be any way they can play their game and win. Bags, of course, have to be feeling the pressure here. With this, uh, this last map could be the, the deciding map, really. A 3-0 win to the Syndicate would be a very convincing, uh, like, putting the stags at the bottom of the leaderboard here. Both teams are 0-2 so far this season, as I previously mentioned. Um, so, you know, getting a, getting the win over your, your fellow team at the bottom has to feel good. Right, you know, put put in put a one on the board for your team to get a little bit of respect going. For sure. And definitely if I was gonna get on the board, a three oh would definitely be the way I wanted to do it. Yeah, and you know, keep keep that energy going into the next few weeks, carry on the momentum. Just say especially we're we're towards the the later half of the season now, riding the momentum out in the playoffs could definitely be something that the Sydney get used to their advantage. It looks like we had a power outage, unfortunately, for one of our players. So substitution probably going to come in. Just a really unfortunate uh, occurrence there. See uh, what swaps teams make. Sugar Booger going in for Ghost. Yeah. We'll see if the Syndicate have a swap as well. They said previously that they were considering it. Looks like teams are moving to be ready, and we're going to get right back into this next match. Uh -huh, sorry, I spoke a bit too soon. One more minute while we wait for power outage uh, to be resolved. All right, here we go, folks. We're headed into Circuit Royale. This could be the deciding map based on how things have been going for the Syndicate, looking really clean. The Stags have to put something on the board here. They, they need to come out with a different look and make it work. You have to be looking at the tanks here. Tank matchup, we've been talking about it throughout the series. Uh, whoever's getting in there, uh, throwing fists or swinging the hammer uh, has really just been taking the team to new heights. Uh, so I, I want to see the Stags have a, have a showing here with their, their tank pressure. We did have a sub, so maybe... Oh yeah, Parasite, Parasite is so swapping onto the tank. And Sigma, Parasite. of course, is, is great on this map. Uh, he's a poke-oriented tank. Uh, you can find a lot of value on, on him here, and hopefully that'll be what the stags need to get the ball rolling. Yeah, Syndicate rolling out just like we had predicted on this brawl comp, keeping it simple. You know, there's a lot of high ground you can utilize on this first point with a lot of these long range DPS, looking at the Baptiste, Soldier, Ana, Cassidy. Really just going to be up to Dogemeister to hold the space uh, with his supports. 
But looking at the other side, we've got a Junkrat. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of damage pouring in on Doge Meister here. Looks like they're just gonna be content to move this payload up. Shiro is playing a very aggressive angle up there on the corner. If they can force him out, he's going to crumple like a paper sack. Oh. Looks like they might be considering that. Yes, yeah, so we can see Sugar Booger looking to get Shiro off of that high ground, but he makes his escape. Excellent play by Shiro to, to get off that high ground early after taking that aggressive stance. Chris with the K and Kamani falling low to this Junkrat spam here. Um, and Chris with the Cape does fall. Doge Meister unable to keep his team entirely safe now that this Junkrat has a high ground. Looks like they are going to commit to fighting this point here. Low walk backwards for the Syndicate down a player. But a charge in from Doge Meister is very aggressive. He gets anteed and he calls extremely low. Immortality field, excellent place by Kamani. Able to keep Doge Meister alive here for a moment. This frontline really damage is something that he hasn't had to deal with yet this series. Doge Meister's falling victim to the Junker. Oh, I spoke too soon. Big shatter. Able to come up with two here. But it looks like it's just going to be a slow walk back to spawn for the, the Sassags. It was looking so good for them, but they maybe underestimated that Rhine Shatter. Yeah, Doge Meister's just been in the front line this whole time, swinging away with no fear, so... You have to imagine he's getting all that old charge from it. It's something you have to take into account. And they just get punished for that one. A lot of bolts coming up on both sides here. I think this is going to be the deciding fight for the stags. Nanovisor comes out. Instantly rewarded with two picks and Chris with a K picks up Sugar Booger as well. Parasite getting struck down by Doge Meister and Shiro in the front line. Looks like they're just going to be able to set up here. Only having to invest two alts to that fight is good for the Syndicate, but the Stags are looking at a four fight, a four ultimate advantage here. I'm wondering how they're going to use the Rip Tire with these long, narrow hallways and many like long ranged heroes on the Syndicate. They might be able to just burn it down if they're not, uh, if Sugar Booger's not careful with his uh, Rip Tire positioning. He could take it over the roof. They are holding high ground. Oh. Well, so much for that. Shiro <laughs> finds an excellent here. Rock, Helix Rocket onto Sugar Booger. And Molten Core comes out from Chris with a K. Sending all this damage down and Booger Bear falls. Stunned out of the flux is Parasite. An excellent charge by Doge Meister, perfectly timed. And Chris with a K's uh, Molten Core on the ground just picks him up as he Tries to make his escape. Riptire comes out here, but Doge Meister is able to pick it up with a fire strike. They are down Shiro though, as a, a pick from earlier is able to send him back to spawn. Now with the numbers advantage, the Stags are looking to push in with the Romantra swap on their side. They may be able to outbrawl Doge Meister here, send him back to spawn. Yes, they're good. Picks up two Parasite. Booger Bear picks up just with a K, and Parasite comes up with three. Excellent swap there. Able to just beam roll the Syndicate. All right, we're approaching potentially last fight territory for the Stags if they don't keep this alive. Uh, ults online for both teams. Uh, I'm curious to see what what we get done with the Shatter here from Doge Meister. He's had some huge slams so far. Like he's gonna zone in, and Sugar Booger's already fallen. The Bob out is dealing a lot of damage to Kamani, but a nice leap onto the Bob, and the Shatter picks up two. Jarhead falls immediately. A nano out staves Parasite, but they can't stay on the cart. Just a nice shatter is able to push them away. Unable to do anything. Excuse me. Yeah, they got really close on that one, but unfortunately weren't able to grab first point. Honestly, I'm really impressed with Doge Meister, uh, not just throughout the series, but especially this map. I think I think opting for Orion on this map is is a little ballsy, because uh, after that first initial corner, you you could kind of get stuck in this trope where you don't you don't have any space to swing on anyone. But uh, he's able to manage his distance really well, distance really well, and 
Honestly, he had two ult shutdowns, and I, I think that gave the tempo to the syndicate and kind of helped them, help them keep this like dominant hold that they have on on the stacks. Yeah, looking at stats, like only one elimination for Doge Meister, but the the work he's put in for this team is is not something you can like put into statistics. He's just really letting Shiro and Chris with a K do the work. He's he's there. He's creating all this space for the team. Uh, you know, Kamani is keeping him up with that Baptiste. Just an excellent all-around performance from the Syndicate here. It's gonna take a lot of work from the Stags to hold them here. They are coming out on sort of a semi dive, uh, looking at uh, a weird DPS lineup of Torbjorn and Soldier, but that is a lot of damage, so I I can see this working for the the Stags. Yeah, Chris with the K falls low immediately. Sugar Booger on the high ground is getting bullied by the far out Shiro, but he's able to convert it and Shiro falls. Chris with the K dropping low as well. It's interesting that they're giving up all this space even though they're up a player. I'd, I'd almost like to see the stags be get a little more aggressive here. Oh. I think the Syndicate are realizing that they're staggering and have decided to back out. Yep, there they go. Oh, and we see the Reaper coming out for that Winston. And a swap onto the Moira. Looking to, to play their counter picks, knowing they have a lot of time in the bank to n not have to get very far. They're up here pushing Jarhead off the top very swiftly. Shiro is traded out by Sugar Booger there. And Doge Monster is able to take this bridge space very quickly. Parasite falls. Chris with the cage is in the front line, throwing down so much damage with the shotguns. And it looks like everybody on the side of the stags will fall. Oh, Soup makes a daring escape, but he's down by Sage Burner, and it's gonna be another kill. I don't Jar think they have anyone who could so tough. Well. Yeah, Sage Burner just goes up and gets a double kill, and I think that might be it. Trigger Booker forced off by Chris with the K, and that's it. The Syndicate take their first win of the season in a convincing fashion. Honestly, yeah, I'm, it, I'm really impressed by the the tanking from Doge Meister. I mean, that was that was just a honestly a, a convincing Ryan performance. Uh, especially, I don't think I don't think Ryan is I don't think he's in a terrible spot, but I don't think he's super strong either. And the amount of value he got through the entire series is definitely was just crazy. Yeah, you have to you have to look at Doge Meister as the MVP for this match. You know, the Syndicate, everybody on their team put in a lot of work, but he really just made all that effort look so much cleaner, so much organ like so much more organized and, and deadly, really. Alright guys, looks like we're gonna wrap this one up here. Thank you all for tuning in to our stream, and we will catch you on the next one. GG's all. So we are done with the map, or the game, but we have the maps for next week. So we're going to start with push because it's the, the most boring one, because it's literally only two. So... Which pain map are we going to be on this week? It's going to be Rome, pretty clearly. For this one, we're going to have to do two of these spins anyway, I think. Yeah, we're going to do two of these spins to the first map. Can't do that one. Didn't take it off. That's on me. <laughs> We got Shambali again. I'm actually just going to say no, and we're going to, because that was also last week, or two weeks ago. There's some people playing that this week, so I don't want to have people play the same maps over again. So we're playing Watchpoint Gibraltar. I 
copied that. Don't worry about it. And then we are gonna do this. Let's do only one parry, so it's gonna be not fun for people, but oh well. We got our control. Gonna be an Arctic Peninsula. That one is gonna stay because there's not that many. I think we've done all of them so far, except for Nepal. So, oh well. Rain Oasis. We get Busan. So it'll be Antarctic and Busan. Probably just flip those actually Busan and then Antarctic. And then for map 6. Gonna be watch point your ball. So, thank you all for watching those of the maps. I'll have things and stuff for captains, and have a wonderful night.